even though Muslim family laws in the Arab world are supposedly based on the same Islam, yet we find a lot of variation between them. And that is mainly because these family laws, um, they're not divine. They are based on human understandings of the divine. So that is why we find a lot of divergences between these supposedly Muslim family laws. Of course, they're inspired by Islam, but they had to go through uh, processing, human processing first, to translate Quranic verses, prophetic practices, into actual state code. And that is why I concluded that reform of Muslim family laws is very possible. It is necessary. A lot of these family laws do have certain provisions that are gender sensitive, and we need to increase that, actually. And the fact that they are based on religion is not supposed to be a hindrance to reform them or to try and aspire for equality and justice in the Muslim family.